and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Bronco Football. I'm Bob Beeler. Long trip, early start time, unfamiliar opponent. All things Boise State faced this past week against UConn. But a stellar defensive effort and the Hedrick-Miller combo carried the Broncos to their second win of the season. Here's our Tucano's Brazilian Grill menu for this week's show. We'll get Coach Harson's thoughts on traveling 2,500 miles in this first segment and hear much more from him throughout the show. Game-changing turnovers led to the Bronco win. We'll look at those in depth. And we'll take you inside the locker room at the end of the game to see the emotion and energy after a victory. Have you ever wondered what traveling with the team is really like? We had our cameras capture the key moments of traveling cross-country on a football mission. We're getting ready to take Bronco Nation over to the East Coast, getting ready to get on these buses on the way to the plane. See you guys there. You know, headed to the East Coast, about to go take on UConn business trip. We'll see you when we land, baby. So when we travel, we're basically moving about 150 people and 10,000 pounds of gear from Site A to Site B. In this case, Hartford, Connecticut, a five-hour flight. The truck left on Monday carrying all the gear. It's about a five-hour flight to the airport there. Brian Wilkinson, our DFO, is already on the ground. When we touch base, we'll check in again as we head to the hotel. Just landed. You know, it tastes pretty good out here. Good weather. Now you're about to head to the hotel. See you in a little bit. So five hour flight to Hartford, Connecticut. It's about 6.30 Eastern time. Got the buses waiting here for us. Have about a 20 minute ride to the hotel. Players will have a chance to eat. Then we'll have a team meeting. Then we'll get up in the morning, do our Friday walkthrough. In part one of this week's Coach Harson one-on-one, -on -one, we talk about the trip, keeping focused and bringing your own energy. All right, Coach, this past week we go back out of conference, long road trip. What was the theme of the week getting ready for UConn? Yeah, it was, it was pretty simple. We wanted to win on the road and we wanted to win the fourth quarter is what we talked about. Those are the main things. There's, there's several others, offense, defense, special teams that coaches talked about, but long trip, time to win on the road. What was the focus like during the week coming off a very physical conference game that was very important and then heading back to a non-league game? So much of it's mentality. You know, come back on a Tuesday after a physical game and still have to practice physical. And our guys did that. They did well. I thought the coaches plan throughout the week, you know, rotating guys too to kind of get other guys opportunities but keep our players fresh. Um, and how we did it worked out well. You know, going into that game, it's an early morning game with a long trip, but I felt like our guys were fresh, felt like we were ready to play. And, you know, that's, that's a difficult game. It's a little bit of a trap game because of the, the travel, the time you play and all that. We'll have more from Coach Harson on the UConn game itself when we return. But as we go to break, enjoy the sights and sounds of game day at UConn, where the Bronco motto was compete and complete this past week. They got 18 to 22 year old guys in there right now tonight sitting there, all right, trying to do the same thing we're going to try to do tomorrow and win. Don't ever take that lightly, okay? If your spirit is stronger and you've worked harder, you'll win the game. If it's not and you take a team lightly, you never know. All right, at the same time, I think we're pretty focused. I think our spirit's good. I think our minds are right. They got to reckon with us. <clears throat> they might be taking us lightly, but we're not taking ourselves lightly, nor do we take them lightly. That's respect all, but fear none. We've been serving Idaho for generations, offering fresh, quality foods at great prices and raising premium Northwest beef. Today, we're proud to announce that Double R Ranch 100% USDA Choice Beef is exclusively available at your local Albertsons. 
Just like our founders, Joe Albertson and Robert Rebholt Sr., we truly believe in quality, tradition, and supporting our neighbors. Double R Ranch, exclusively available at Albertsons. Looking for an easy way to shop for your next vehicle? Start at LithiaFordVoice.com, where you can search our entire inventory with a great selection of new vehicles, all with photos. Even stay up to date on special deals. And at LithiaFordVoice.com, you can even set up a test drive or make a service appointment. Better car buying starts at LithiaFordVoice.com. Lithia Ford of Boise, an official sponsor of the Boise State Broncos. I was on my way home after a long day of nanny when my car went cubs butt. Dead as a doornail, right in front of someone's driveway. So I thought I'd look for help. And would you believe it? The guy answers like a shining beacon of light. Oh, sorry. I manage a Les Schwab here in town. I'd be happy to take a look. Within 10 minutes, I had a new battery cable and was whistling on my way home. He wouldn't take any money, but I think I'll bake him some cookies. I'm Hillary Plock, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. Anybody else think Coke seems to taste pretty great at McDonald's? Well, join the club. Is it because any size Coke is only a dollar? Or because fries and a Coke really hit the spot? Whatever it is, when any size Coca-Cola, soft drink, or sweet tea is just a buck, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. Visit your local Subway restaurants and ask for the 450 fresh value meal of the day. A different meal each day of the week. Mondays call for a fresh deal. Why not let Tuesday taste better? Hump day means one thing, Subway. Thursday rolls around and a good meal will tide you over until Friday. And nothing celebrates the weekend like your favorite regular six inch. <clears throat> That's the six inch sub of the day. Chips and a 21 ounce drink for just 450. Visit your local Subway today and ask for the 450 fresh value meal of the day. A quick defensive score, plenty of sacks from the D-line, and an impressive fourth quarter performance summed up the UConn game. Our inside Bronco football crew delivers our St. Luke's game highlights as we take you back to Rensselaer Field. Another sack coming in there to get this one is Robert Ash. Going down the middle. He's got Matt Miller there. He catches it at the goal line. And the Broncos take the lead. Quick slant ball thrown to Davis. And the ball is stolen out of Davis. And by Dante Dion at the 50-yard line. And he is going to sprint in for a second defensive touchdown of the game. And they'll hand it off to Newsom. Newsom has the ball knocked away by Armand Dan. It's scooped up by Tanner Vallejo around the 30-yard line. Defense has scored. I put it back to Miller. He throws it to Hedrick, and Hedrick's got the touchdown. A little razzle dazzle. It is intercepted by Jonathan Moxie, and the Broncos have it. Those highlights bring us to our Milk Victory Keys to Victory from last week's 38-21 win at UConn. Without question, the pressure up front on Husky quarterback Chandler Whitmer was the difference, with eight sacks by the Broncos. Jonathan Moxie and Dante Dion's timely fourth quarter picks took a tenuous 24-21 lead to a 38-21 margin. And fourth quarter play favored the Broncos as in drives with the game on the line. 
UConn managed just 11 yards, two three and outs, and two interceptions as Boise State outscored UConn 14 to nothing in the decisive period. We continue our one-on-one -on -one dialogue with Coach Harson as we'll discuss these keys and more from the UConn win. Definitely a game of twists. How the game went, you know, it started off fast, and there's some lulls in there, and there's some spikes and all those things. And, you know, anytime you have eight sacks, three turnovers on defense, which all three turned into scoring opportunities, that's, that's a pretty good day. And uh, that was really a key for us winning that game. And offense, you know, we'd like to be balanced. Uh, that's not what they were going to allow us to do. So if that's not the case, then we'll throw it if we have to. And we were able to do that and do it effective enough to win. How important is it when the defense scores like bang right off the bat? What does that do to the, the psyche on the sideline? It's energy. It's a little bit of relief because you got points on the board. And I think, you know, for anybody, I know from an offensive standpoint, I always liked when the defense went out there, either shut them down or scored. You know, you just feel better. You feel like you got a little bit of a momentum going into your, your series. So, uh, big start for us. And, uh, you know, they, you know, credit to UConn. They fought back. I mean, it was back and forth for a while there. And, you know, the, the goal was zero turnovers on offense. That was the offensive goal. We had zero and we had three on defense, and that became the key in the game. One of the position groups I'd like to get your thoughts on that really I think has come a long way in a short time is the defensive line under, under Coach Caldwell. You know, Coach Caldwell's been doing this for a while now, and, uh, you know, hates when I say that, but uh, he's got experience and he knows how to handle these guys in that room, and I think, that, I think they're a product of, of them just getting better throughout practice and that getting better in games, and you just see that room growing. And, and if you could, you get a what chance to watch them work. I mean, these guys go out there; they deserve to have success. So this game was was something fun for us to see. Eight sacks. Boson had two. Kamale had two. Um, you know, guys were playing really well in that game. Bo Martin, you know, was a player of the game on the defensive line. So. If we can have those guys up front playing that well, that just helps linebackers and secondary, you know, overall and makes our defense better. Another thing that showed up was the fourth quarter, outscored them 14 to nothing. And I thought, you know, the two touchdowns, one was just a tremendous play by Dante Dion, and then the other was, uh, I think, Hedrick and Miller combining on what, mm -hmm. I don't know that you could duplicate that pass mm -hmm. play. They didn't give you much of a window. No. Uh, number one, Dante's play, you don't see that very often. He just physically took the ball and forced it out of his hands and scored. I mean, that's a tremendous play. Uh, Grant, you know, it's something, he does it every day in practice, slide, set, and throw. And it was exactly that, threw the ball perfectly. Matt had two guys on him. And I mean, those two guys, the ball couldn't have been positioned better. Matt could have, couldn't have run a better route. So um, that was really good to see, especially in a third down and scoring situation, we're able to finish it off after a turnover. Lithia Ford drive of the game comes from the Moxie interception leading to the pass from Hedrick. Seemed like that was kind of a turning point. It was. So we had great field position. I think we got the ball in the 40. Um, and, I, and I think we just felt like on the offensive side, like this, this is time. We've had some turnovers in previous games. We, we need to turn this into points. And really at that turn of the game, had we not, you know, things probably wouldn't have gone in our favor. We needed that score in that situation. We were able to get it done. When you're on the road, few things can be better than starting the game out with a huge defensive play. Armand Nance delivered at UConn. Our Nampa floors and interiors get Lord hit of the game. Whitmer under center, this time the backs line up in an eye. They'll hand it off to Newsom. Newsom has the ball knocked away by Armand Nance. It's scooped up by Tanner Vallejo around the 30 yard line and the defense has scored. Boise State is forced to fumble, 32 yards on the return. And uh, I got the play. I ran my movement and I guess, I don't know, the guard didn't come to me or something in the center. I don't know, it was too fast for him or something. But uh, I just got in the backfield, made the play. And I uh, look up, Tanner had the ball, I was like, okay. Uh, I, that, that's the right person to have it, so I, I'm not tripping. Uh, I kind of had a feeling they were going to run by the personnel they had in. And the fullback, the fullback came down on me, so I took him on. And the ball just bounced into my hand, so. I was just thinking, don't muff it, don't muff it, because I knew if I muffed it, I was going to have to jump on it so they couldn't get it. That's my first touchdown in college, too. Hopefully, some more to come. But uh, I was just lucky uh, Armand made that play, so credit goes out to him. Last week, we introduced you to the Bronco Mojo, the motivational video the team watches just before taking the field on game day. As we head to our second break, Here's a short peek at the mojo the Broncos used to beat UConn. There's that glass ceiling or, or, or you, think, you think you're doing something now 
and I'm telling you, wait, right? And this is why I say that, because I know if you're still alive, you haven't seen your best yet. And I don't care what level you're on, I don't care how well you're doing, listen to me. If you are in this room and you are still alive, you have not seen your best yet. So I want to say to both groups, never settle. Listen to me, never settle. Listen up, sports fans. If you drive a truck, you know it's all about stats. And at the built Ford Tough Sales event, we've got the numbers right here. Ford Super Duty, best-in-class horsepower and max towing capacity. That's how you punch it right up the gut now. And here's another stat, folks. F-Series has been America's best-selling truck for 37 straight years. That's called the Dynasty, baby. During the built Ford Tough Sales event, get a Super Duty starting around 39724. Only at your local Ford stores. Chicago Connection pizzas all over the valley. Hot, fresh from the oven pizzas with lots of delicious toppings served on a tummy pleasing crust and covered with heaps of real mozzarella cheese. Ask for our money saving weekly special when you call or dine in. Chicago Connection, it's how you'll want your pizza. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Happy to help. There are all kinds of reasons to be glad you have AAA. Getting back on your way is just one of them. AAA. Keep life going. Looking for an easy way to shop for your next vehicle? Start at lithiafordvoicey.com where you can search our entire inventory with a great selection of new vehicles, all with photos. Even stay up to date on special deals. And at lithiafordvoicey.com, you can even set up a test drive or make a service appointment. Better car buying starts at lithiafordvoicey.com. Lithia Ford of Boise, an official sponsor of the Boise State Broncos. Looking for an early season breakout player for the Broncos? Kamale Correa jumps to mind real quick. The sophomore defensive end has made some big plays in each of Boise State's first three games, including living in the backfield last week against UConn. Our forward player profile focuses on Correa's multi-sack performance against the Huskies, as he tells about the game in his own words. Whitmer looking long. Rush comes, there's sack number six, Kamale Correa. Well, our goal for this game was five sacks, and we kind of exceeded that goal, and and I think it was kind of awesome how everyone kind of, you know, we all stepped up, and it wasn't only the first stringers who got sacks, it was also like Matt Bozen got sacks, Rob Ash, you know, Gabe Perez, we all like Bo Martin, myself, and you know, it was all like a group effort, and it was awesome. He'll go back to pass for Rush, Whitmer coming in, we'll get another Albertson sack, and coming up with that one is Kamale Correa. Well, you know, it's awesome just being out there with your brothers, you know, for each game, you know. Like, it just gives us a chance to go out there and show not only Boise Nation, but, like, the whole world to, to really show them what we're all about. And, you know, it's just an awesome experience just being out there and, and just being able to play the game of football. Few will argue that the play of the defensive line has helped drive the Broncos to a 2-1 record early in the season. The architect behind it, veteran coach Steve Caldwell. Here's an inside look at Caldwell's coaching style, one that has transformed the Bronco D-line. 
Ah, oh, you shooting? I got hit. Fool! Hey, you better catch it out in front of you now, not on the top. All right, good. Stay down there low. Stay down there low. I'm gonna go. Ready? Go! Right there. You just knock that tight end straight back. Good. I want to see you lay all the way out on your gut. Get that separation. Uh, he's very intense. He's very fierce. He's very aggressive, which helps us bring that mentality to the D-line as it should be. So. Stay down there low. Come on, way off. Come on, JT. Lay out on that gut. He's an old school coach. He's, he's the coach you see on the football movies. It's great match to get at you, but. He, 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 he means really well. He's a really good coach. He brings the, the tenacity to, to guys just when, they, like when they're not feeling it, you know. Fake it till you make it. He gonna make you feel it, you know. Go! Bring the ball downhill, 91. Go! That's better. We're down to our final timeout. When we return, a look ahead to this week's opponent. You're watching Inside Bronco Football, presented by Ford. Under center, Whitmer will go back to pass. Big blitz, and there's another sack. Quick slant, ball thrown to Davis, and the ball is stolen out of Davis' hand by Dante Dion at the 50-yard line. We're trying to be the very best and try to build the very best and trying to get better each and every day. Well, you're looking for things that can help you do that. They understand the protein and what they get from milk is really what's going to trigger their muscles to recover. We give it to them immediately after their workouts. You see the recovery. I think their bodies feel the recovery. Milk for us has got 90 essential nutrients. It's a superfood. It's been a product that's fueled Boise State for a lot of years and we've had a lot of success with. The Larry H. Miller dealerships are proud to sponsor the Bronco Nation of Boise State with thousands of vehicles to choose from, in person and online. Backed by one of the largest dealer groups in the nation, your local Larry H. Miller dealer is ready to help you score big. Because whether you're changing your oil or even your car, we're all about you. So gallop into one of our dealerships near you to see what a better auto experience is like when the focus is totally on you. Larry H. Miller dealerships, driven by you. The best thing at Chuckarama is the rolls. They're like home style. Reminds me of my mom's baking. They're making them all the time, constantly coming out of the oven, so they're always warm and fresh. They smell wonderful. I break them open and I slather them with honey butter. It gives that little extra special taste to the rolls. Ah. Oh. The choice is yours at Chuckarama. Do you ever ask yourself, is my business prepared for benefit changes due to health care reform? Is my business carrying enough liability insurance? Or has my personal insurance coverage kept pace with my life? At Morton & Company, we help Idaho business owners insure their greatest assets. For help answering these questions and more, call 321-9300. Morton & Company. Innovation. Integrity. Insurance. Call 321-9300. Morton & Company trusted since 1910. Listen up, sports fans. If you drive a truck, you know it's all about stats. And at the Built Ford Tough Sales event, we've got the numbers right here. Ford Super Duty, best in class horsepower and max towing capacity. That's how you punch it right up the gut now. And here's another stat, folks. F-Series has been America's best-selling truck for 37 straight years. That's called the Dynasty, baby. During the Build Ford Tough Sales event, get a Super Duty starting around 39724. Only at your local Ford stores. One of the most important things when I was young was the time spent playing Optimus Youth Football. Now I'm proud that our Bronco team can partner with the Optimus program in an effort we call Team Harson. Thanks to Idaho Central Credit Union, select Optimus players who otherwise wouldn't be able to come to a Bronco home game will be able to do so. They'll meet our players, bring their families, and be treated to an unbelievable experience at Albertson Stadium. Optimus Youth Football and Idaho Central Credit Union are helping us attack the future and make a difference with the youth of the Treasure Valley. Go Broncos!
It's homecoming week on the Boise State campus, and the guest for Saturday's game, the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns of the Sun Belt Conference. An 8.30 p.m. kickoff time returns the Broncos to that late start category. Tickets remain available for the game, and you can purchase those at the Athletic Ticket Office or BoiseStateTickets.com. The game will be shown on the CBS Sports Network. Louisiana will make its first trip to Boise at 1-2, and two, coming off back-to-back -back losses to Louisiana Tech and Ole Miss. But don't be fooled. The Raging Cajuns have won nine games each of the last three years and are one of only six teams in the country with three straight bowl wins. In the final part of our Coach Harson one-on-one -on -one interview, we find out more about what to expect from Louisiana. Well, I've got to see them live firsthand. They're, they're a physical team. They're a very good-looking team. Um, O-line and D-line, they've got big guys up there that play extremely hard. Uh, really like their quarterback. You know, he's been a, a preseason Sunbelt player pick. Um, has broken records at their school. Big guy, can throw it on time, can scramble, extend plays. Uh, and then overall defense, just there's a lot of moving parts. You know, they move around, they make plays, uh, they give you a lot of different looks. So overall, this, this team is very good. They play hard, uh, they play for four quarters. You know, we're expecting that. And you know what, we need to be better this week than we were against UConn. And that's really the goal each and every week. How do we become 1-0 this week? Well, here's the things we have to do. And we'll have our theme for the week, but we got a very good opponent coming into our place. We're fortunate that we're at home, and we got to play better than we did last week. And this team coming in, the Raging Cajuns, used to winning. They've won, I think, three straight bowl games. They shared the league with your last team at uh, Arkansas State. Two good teams playing each other. And, and again, I think keys you know, in the game, turnovers, you know, always comes down to that. Um, running the football, they're going to run it. We want to run it. So there's a lot of good matchups there, and, and uh, I know our guys are looking forward to it. We, they know about this opponent. We've talked about them since spring. Uh, we knew they were on the schedule, and there's coaches on our staff that have had a chance to play against them. So our guys, they'll be ready to play, and we're looking forward to it. A few notes to get you ready for Saturday. The new Bronco walk will take place from 6 to 6.15 at the entrance to the stadium parking lot and through the east side of the stadium. Great opportunity to cheer the team on as they walk to the football center. It's a tricolor out this week, so visit broncosports.com for instructions on what color to wear in your section. And make sure to visit any of the Valley's Bronco Shops or broncoshop.com to get blue, orange, or white to wear for the game, depending on your section. And make sure you stop by the Bronco Radio Network stage at the Ford Fan Zone pregame to pick up the Jay Ajayi Milk Victory Player poster. Each home game, the United Dairymen of Idaho unveil a new souvenir schedule poster for the first 2,000 who stop by. You will definitely want that Ajayi poster for sure. That's all the time we have for you this week. Join us again next week as we bring you more of Inside Bronco Football presented by Ford. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob Beeler.